people, Chrissy Salem, time to rock star today. Rock start your life. Oh, start believing in yourself so you can win. Because you don't feel like you've won. You feel miserable. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem and you're getting a free diagnosis. Because <clears throat> you were out for a morning scroll, scrolling away. Good for you. Oh, when you run into me. You're like, what is this? You know, some have commented that, that how is this allowed? Oh, that if children should stumble upon it. Oh, but you were watching Halloween, the unrated version last night in the privacy of your own home, and you don't have kids. Interesting. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Sam. Let's get a diagnosis going. You're not happy. You are unhappy. You know, your money flatlined a long time ago. It's flat. Cost of living raised, maybe. Am I right? Or maybe you're doing real well. Well, shout out to you, man. Keep doing weller. But that's why we're here, because we want to win. And you find answers, oh, in the craziest places. If we've ever met before, I'm Christy Salem, and I've been asked, are you crazy? Oh, you betcha. Oh, you betcha. Crazy to share with you that as you're out for your morning scroll, you run into me. And I need to keep you here. My job is to keep you on this platform. So I got to give you something really good. But, you know, so today you needed a change of scenery. Let me step aside. Oh, you got it. Needed a change of company. Mm. And here we are. We're going to have a great time. This is the coolest rock and roll party in the metaverse. Because the party's the party I'm throwing for you. I'm not going to talk about me. I'm not going to talk about anything else except you. Because you know what? Check this out. I'm going to say this twice. Because some of you leave a comment saying, well, what's he jabbering about? Well, shut up and listen. What we talk about is what we're thinking about. Mm -hmm. And what we're thinking about is what we're focusing on. And what we're focusing on is what we're getting. So what you've been talking about in the last 24 hours, because your bank account right now, ah, oh man, it's giving you the bird. And you're like, what? It wants more. Just like you want more. Oh, and your waistline. Ah, oh, man, your waistline's giving you the bird. Yeah, it's like, bro, you had a 30, now it's a 42. What's going on? Not another helping of pasta. But it's become a way of life. I mean, it's one day melts into another, then a week, then a month, and here we are today. And if we've ever met before, I'm Kirsty Salem, and it's great to meet you. <clears throat> and then your love life. Oh, what love life? Oh, the majority of us are alone. Really alone. And you can get lonely. I get it. And a lot of us want a partner. You know, somebody that, we, somebody that could be a partner, a best friend, a lover. What's what most people want? I'll leave a like if that's what you want. Mm. Leave two likes if you want something else and double tap that screen. Oh, you got to double tap and you got to hit that like button. Or else the algorithm won't, won't spread me. You know, there's a lot of people need to hear what I'm saying and you know it. That's really what the like is doing. Oh, so make it hot. Mm. Oh, that, that's what I'm talking about. Don't like drift off into a conversation with somebody in the chat and forget to give me a like. I mean, it's great we're hanging out at the Metal Mascara party, the coolest party in the metaverse, and you're the star. So your love life, all of us want this partner. But they never materialize. You know, people like them pop into our lives, you know, kind of talks like them, but it's not them. Mm. Kind of tastes like them. But you find out, it wasn't them. <clears throat> Am I right? People appear in our lives. In the dark, it feels like the one, because we're using our imagination, but it's not them. Oh, and then they disappear. They pop out. And time goes by, and we wonder, what? What am I doing wrong? Oh, uh, what's wrong with me? Well, number one, if you're a regular dude, average dude, working at 37 and a half hours, you haven't taken a shower in a few days. Am I talking to you? You haven't shaved? 
Oh, ladies, you too, you're not excluded. You think I don't see the hair sticking out when you pull down your sweatpants in the store. Mm. I know when you're bumming, I know when you're slumming, and my question is why? There's so much more to you. You just don't see it, or you're ignoring it. But why would you ignore you? Mm. Like, don't you feel, I mean, you know, some of us love to celebrate our birthday, some don't, don't matter, but you know, it's the day of your birthday, you feel a little different. Imagine feeling like that every day. Oh yeah, make sure you follow and subscribe because I give you that birthday feeling. Mm. So what are we doing wrong? How come we can't get this partner? You know, so we can check off that box, am I right? So we can move on with our lives. You know, maybe retire by a camper, see the country, or play golf. Us and our lover and our best friend. But they don't show up. Because there's, there's this list. Oh, it's called a stinker list. Yeah, now is the official time where we're going to examine and clean your stinker. Because there's things about you and there's things about me that stink. And it's those exact things that repel. Uh-huh. It repels that love of a lifetime that we want. Repels it. Got nothing to do with education, experiences, accolades. It's who you are, the essence of you, not to go too deep. So what is it about you that stinks? There's all kinds of character traits that we can work on. One good one we can all relate to is being punctual, being an on-time person. Are you on time in your life? Is that something you struggle with? Because I'll tell you what, not being on time, not practicing being punctual, you know what that is? It's socially unattractive. <clears throat> and it's economically unattractive because it chips away at your paycheck. And if you're the average person working 37 and a half hours, why would you chip away at that? Oh, there's another one. Oh, what's he jabbering about? Shut up and listen. Now, we've got some negative comments coming in. we got some drive-bys taking pot shots at Chrissy Salem. Mm, I can feel each one. Oh, do your worst. Because I have one thing you don't. Everybody check this out. I've got the one thing any negative commenter doesn't have. I got a babo ram of the hottest TikTok nurses handing out binky bottles. Yeah. Mona. Christina, Katrina, Jess Lovely, Lady J, Jen. Oh yeah, girls, let them have their binky bottles because I don't want you to leave. Stay here, leave your negative, leave your negative comments. Stay here, have a binky bottle. Oh, put your mouth on a nipple and keep listening because you need to hear this just as much. Don't matter if you like me or not. Mm. So how's that sound so far? Don't sound, don't sound like fun, man. Because being a winner looks good on you. It looks good on you. Your bank account looks really good. Your waistline's looking nice and trim. Your choices of partners has really gone up. Because you've scraped the bottom of the barrel. You know it. And so now what's romance boiled down to? Do you know the answer to that question? Oh, six to eight minutes with yourself on a free POR insight. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole market of us that buy personal lubricant, you know, online. It comes in discreet packaging. Oh, and for the bold. Oh, who's bold? Leave a like if you're bold. We'll buy it at Walmart. That's right. We get our personal lubricant at Walmart. Because we're the bold and the beautiful. Are you bold and beautiful? Leave a like. Double tap that screen. Let's get this out. People need to hear what I'm saying. They're miserable. You know, do you? you? Oh, it's easy for you to say, mister, with the makeup on. You're probably in your mama's basement. Oh, I wish. I'm out in the marketplace, baby, crushing it, and I'm killing it over here. So I see both sides. Do you know what people are talking about? Is this you? Check this out. They're not really talking. They're complaining. Complaining about the world situation. Complaining about the weather. Complaining about that they didn't, you know, the, the, the scratcher ticket was just a $2 winner. Damn. They complain about that. That's what they're talking about. They're complaining about their kids. Is, am I describing you? We're all guilty of this. But here's the thing. Do we practice it? I don't practice it, but I'm guilty of it. Man, I don't want to complain about nobody. The only person I complain about to me is me. 
Because we're always talking to ourselves. Am I right? All that time, jabber, jabber. You talk to yourself. And it's usually nothing good. You know, th th this is where we judge. You know, we say, you know, we say out loud we don't judge, but what are we thinking about? We judge a situation, we judge a person, we think I could have done that better, or what a dopey way, just all kinds of stuff. You know, I leave a like. And remember, I said what we're talking about is what we're thinking about. And what we're thinking about is what we're focusing on. And what we focus on, we get. So what's your bank account looking like? Oh, what's your waistline looking like? And your love life? Oh, we already talked about that. You and you had a real great date last night. Or maybe a half hour ago, who knows? Or maybe right now. All right, so check this out. Before I go any further, if we're a couple dudes, man, nothing weird, we're talking. I really got something you need to hear. Here's the stark reality. Majority of young men are from single mom homes. There was no father figure. So listen up, gentlemen. I know what I'm talking about. I'll leave a like if we're having a great time. I'm Christy Salem. I paused for a dramatic effect. Yeah. Did it work? I'll leave a like if you got some drama. What's on my chin? I know lipsticks on my chin. Jesse Pump. Mm. Have to take care of some business earlier. So there's three things. What stinks about you? Be honest. Is it being punctual? Is it something else? As we get back on track, because I don't want you to go away, I got to give you value, because we're establishing the fact that we have three things in common, that you and I both want more money, don't want to worry about it, that you and I both want excellent health, and we want to look amazing to boot. You know, all the right stuff in all the right places. And hold on, hold on, excellent sleep, where you don't have to spend three grand on a mattress or more. Excellent energy, stamina, gentlemen. Oh, excellent blood flow, everybody, shout out. Leave a like if you're for excellent blood flow everywhere. So let's get busy. So if we're a couple of dudes hanging out, that's cool, man. We're just talking, I need you to write something down, bro. Bro, I need you to write something down. Oh, I'm going to split. Now, all the people on the romantic side, if this is a romantic notion, because it could be, it's happened. I do have a very short checklist. Oh, please respect it. It makes the, our experience so much more valuable. Turn your lights down a little bit and pull out that little black leather love seat and scooch over. <clears throat> Am I warm? Oh, you betcha. What do I smell like? Oh, eternity and vanilla. Yeah, I make my own. Because you got to have a great time at this party. Because if you're not having a great time, oh man, you know what's going to happen? You're going to go watch that chicken with the Donald Trump head. You're going to go look at chicks with double Ds. Or you're going to watch little kids with their pet squirrels doing tricks. See what I mean? So we've got three things in common. The last one is both want love done our way. Whatever that means to you. And we're not getting it. We are not satisfied with our money, with our health, or with our love life. It's making us miserable. So how do we get out of it? Well, number one, we got to write three things down. We have to have a goal for each of these. So if you and I are together, what is bugging you about your money? Not enough. Too many bills. You work too much. <laughs> mm. Write it down. Number two, your health. You know, over 70% of you are overweight or obese. Is that the problem? Chrissy, do you have to bring that up again? Yeah, is that the problem? Because it's jacking with your self-confidence. I know they tell us that, you know, the world shouldn't judge us and this and that, but it's not true, and you know it. The world judges a book by its cover. So whatever's hot and selling today, going like hotcakes. Who knows if it'll be here tomorrow? But you got to take care of your cover. Because this just is in aesthetics. Your cover means your health. It means everything about you, how you sleep, how you move, how you feel. So is weight loss a problem? A lot of you yo-yo dieters, right? 
Look back last three to five years, oh, you've been losing the same 30 pounds. You do the programs, you spend the money, and round and round it goes. Why? Oh, hang in there, I'm going to lead you to the light. It's real simple. You just missed it. It's because you don't believe in yourself. All this misery is because you stopped believing in yourself. Maybe you never have. Maybe you never really thought about it. Oh, shout out to the ones that have. Yeah. I'm asking you right now, when you write down a goal for your money, a goal for your health, and a goal for your stinker list to fix, you're looking like a winner because that's what winners do. And so right now at Walmart, 45 cents, shout out to Walmart, man, can't beat that price, 45 cents for a spiral notebook to write your goals down in. And anything else you might want to write down. I journal all the time. I don't know how to journal. You just write your thoughts down. You just write your thoughts down. And then you get in the groove of writing in the minutes. Oh, it's a spiritual experience. Your hand is on a pen and it's on a paper and your mind is working and you're writing. If you've never written your goals down, you don't know what you're missing. So stop missing out. Don't miss out on this very important point. Write those three goals down. And now we're going to get busy. We're going to get busy for a short season. Oh, shout out to all of us that have the attention span of a goldfish. But we got to get busy. So what is it about the money? Can you work some overtime? Do you need a second job? You can't find a job. Oh, I just put up a video. I had a few people say, I can't find a job. Can't find a job. Mm -hmm. Get a sales job. What do I like sales? Man, your bank account don't care what you like or don't like. It just wants to be filled. Because it takes money to live. Take the sales job. You'll get the basic pay. And the most important thing is you got some money coming in. And your chin's going to be a little bit up. And you're going to learn people skills. Oh, and those people that have excellent people skills. Oh, you're so very few. Because you've taken the time to invest in yourself and work on it. So do you follow me? Are you subscribed? Well, why not? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button. Oh, have you hit the like yet? You got to hit that like. Now, it's kind of cool. You guys are talking amongst each other. We're just having a party, having a great time. But don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to double tap that screen. So the problem is you don't believe in yourself. So maybe the subject of these three goals doesn't excite you. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Right? Okay, so you're not excited about it. Check this out. You know why? Because you don't believe in yourself. That's why your bank account sucks. That's why your waistline's a joke. And that's why your love life, well, like I said, man, you order the personal lubricant comes in discreet packaging. Nobody knows. It's just you and you. I get it. But listen, you got to believe in yourself, man. And here's the problem why you don't. Do you know why you don't believe in yourself? Oh, free diagnosis right now. Lean in on this. You don't believe in yourself because you've committed errors in the past, mistakes, poor judgment calls. Maybe you've hurt people, done bad things, and you don't forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself or you won't move on. That's just the way it works. You can't change. That's just like a law of life, man. You can't change that law if you don't let it go. You can't move on. And maybe you don't know this. I learned this lesson. There is levels to letting go. When you're like letting go of someone, letting go of a hurt, letting go of something bad. Some, it's not just like a once and for all. It like comes in levels. Am I right? Because you'll be doing something all of a sudden like a memory pops in this person, the situation. You're like, ah, they get in there. Am I right? All right, back on track, believing in yourself. So we've, oh, rock, oh, rock on. Oh, I got to say, oh, baby, rock on. That's a beautiful gift. But we're moving right along. Oh, if we've never met before, I'm Chrissy Salem, and we're moving right along. Because today you need to change the scenery, you change the company. 
Today you needed a different kind of bowl of cereal with a different kind of spoon. Hmm, hi. Oh, it's good to meet you. Like I said, if we're dudes bent on the what's going on, bro? Fist bump. Oh, but everybody else. <clears throat> and the second thing, why you don't believe in yourself. Perceived obstacles. You have these obstacles set up in your head, these beliefs, these walls, and you can't see through them, you can't see past them. So do you know what built these walls? Check this out. It comes from the first thing we were talking about. Not forgiving, not letting go. It comes from that family. What's built the walls that you put up is all the little promises you've broken to yourself over the years. And they stack up. You, you never think about it till, till I bring it up. And you're like, damn, yeah. They stack up and you can't see through them, can't see past them. And this is all you know what you know and ain't nobody going to tell you different. But for some strange reason, your bank account sucks. Your waistline's way out of control and your love life, what love life? It's affecting it. So we need to turn you around and get you believing in yourself. All right, so I know we've been saying to yourself, right? count of three, let's turn around and say, I believe in myself. Ready? One, two, three. I believe in myself. And now I want you to, I want you to be serious now. I'm going to teach you two lines. I'll with you, no one may put it in the comments. Two lines I use as needed. Doctor's orders as needed because you got the diagnosis. Now I'm going to give you the cool medicine. Oh, my instant medication. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem and I'm administering sugary cereal medication mm. you're gonna i'm gonna teach you how to make a decision right now right now you're making a decision and i'm gonna show you how to prepare for the worst here we go so i make it a beautiful day even when nothing is going my way so i make it a beautiful day even when nothing is going my way now let's say it together. So I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. Now, are these magic words? They could be. Receive them. Receive them because we are always talking to ourselves. We establish that, right? And what we're talking about is what we're thinking about. And what we're thinking about is what we're focusing on. Oh, and what we're focusing on, we're getting. So what is it you're getting? Is your bank account smiling at you because of what you've been talking about? Is your waistline getting to where you want it to be? Oh, is your love life? Oh man, options going up? Because that's been my experience. Fact, it works. So I make it a beautiful day even when nothing is going my way. They call these things affirmations. It's just a thought. It's a thought, I, it's a thought I want to keep running in my head throughout the day. So some of us like a jingle. I enjoy a good jingle because I want you to remember it. Because, you know, when we're done, you're going to go out in the world and the hammer's coming for you in the form of people, places, and things intentionally and unintentionally. The man you're going to be ready for, you're going to be locked and loaded, baby. Mm. So make sure you hit that like button and let's get to singing. So I uh, make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. What do you do? You make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going your way. Right? You get off this live stream, maybe you go out to your car, get ready to go to work. Oh, you forgot to get gas, remember? So I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. Oh, finally you get to work, am I right? And they put you with that bum co-worker. But remember what you and Chrissy established? So I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. Because life will happen to you today. But just remember, you made a decision. You made a decision. So I make it a beautiful day. And you prepared for the worst. Don't be surprised. 
Whenever you see people who are surprised, whoa, that's, that's a red flag. You should know life comes at you in the form of people, places, and things. That's a normal everyday thing. That's what we live in. You got to be locked and loaded for it. You don't want it deciding your mindset. You decide your mindset. That's why you decided to have to make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going your way. Oh, so shout out one thing. You know, so we get some negative haters coming by. That's cool, man. Don't go anywhere because you know what I've got. Oh, this live stream has got the one thing no other live stream has got. Oh, a babe Rama nurses, TikTok nurses, YouTube nurses, and they're giving out pinky bottles. Yeah, because I want you guys to stay. Get your mouth on a nipple and listen. So believing in yourself, you've got to let go of things of the past. Period. And number two, perceived obstacles. You gotta get down these walls, these little broken promises you made to yourself. Maybe you've always dreamed about making a hundred K or two hundred K. Now's the time. Now's the time. Oh, a shout out to that, oh, that young lady losing the 30 pounds to fit into that special wedding dress. That's a family heirloom. Man, it's a countdown. It's gonna be tight. But she's believing in herself. Now, is life still going on? Oh, you betcha. Just because you got a goal, goal for your money and a goal for your health, why, people are going to be like, okay, cool then. Uh-uh, no. In fact, they'll get in your way more. Most people you know will not like to see you succeed in any form or fashion. So I'm asking you to check your circle of friends. Are they losers? Do they got to go? If they add no value to your relationship, they got to go. They're wasting your time. They're like an old piece of furniture. Now, do you have a partner? All right, look, are they with you? Look over at them. Mm, how'd you settle for that? It's making you miserable. You know what I'm gonna say, man, it's time to break up. That's right. Oh, especially if you're a lady and that's a dude. Woman, you're supporting a man, what are you nuts? As soon as he's on his feet, he's gonna meet somebody else and say bye to you. And she'll be younger. Happens time and time and time again. Don't be a statistic. Boot the bum out. Your money's your money. Not his money, too. Oh, yeah, people. Chrissy, say I'm having a great time with some real talk. So we talked about we've got some things in common. That we're going to have a goal for each of those. We're going to take action every day. We got our mind. We got our mind. Thought, our thought maker running, right? So I make it a beautiful day. Even when nothing is going my way. Now tell me now, leave a like if you're not locked and loaded, ready to... I'll kill it today. You know it. You look different from when you first popped on here. I can see it. Oh, right, what's on my chin? Lipstick. Jesse Pump got lipstick on me. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> Talking about winning. Being a winner, believing in yourself. Because we're all guilty of drifting. Oh, leave a like if you've drifted. Drifted into a bad job. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, how about this? Drifted into a bad relationship. <clears throat> leave a like. That's a serious like. And it made us miserable. Baby, we're in that situation now. Got to do something about it. So what happens is, when you have a goal for your money, when you have a goal for your health, and when you have a goal for you as a person, instant drift stop. You stop drifting. That easy. Oh, remember that's a million dollar tip from me to you. Because we're all guilty of drifting, and, and just the thought of drifting, doesn't it tire you out? Isn't it just a tiring thought? Oh, leave a like if just a... Just the subject of drifting tires you out. Because it's happened to you time and time again. No more after today because I gave you the secret to stop drifting. Yeah, it's having a goal. A goal for your money, a goal for your health, and a goal for you as a person. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem. And did you know I have a website, ChrissySalem.com? It's up. You know, here's the problem. 
I need your help. I just need you to go to ChrisSalem.com wish pond. ChrissySalem.com wish pond. Because I've been talking and talking, man, merch is not up, my ebooks aren't up. So I have this feeling if enough people just go to the website, there's not I'm there, you can see stuff, but you can't do anything. It's just like a, a long page. It looks really cool, though. Uh, j just by the fact you went there, it's going to show up on their end. And they're going to be like, well, what's all the buzz about? And let's get, I'm going to get their butts moving. So ChrissySalem.com Wish Pond. Please help me with these guys. Oh, they're messing around with your sexy metal ghoul. Your sugary bowl of cereal with that special spoon. That's a good idea. How about this morning? I call for this. This morning I call for something. I call for a group action. Let's all spoon together. That's right. If we agree that we want to, man, we want to hit our money and make it good, let's spoon. Man, we want to lose weight and look amazing, let's spoon. Oh, uh, somebody leave a spoon emoji. Uh, if we want to have love done our way tonight. Let's spoon. See, we get busy working on our goals. I know you're like, Nancy, wait, what did you do this morning? Is that, oh, I spooned with Christy Salem, and it wasn't all that bad. Nothing weird happened. Oh, he sure is warm. Oh, having a great time. Leave that like button. So I got the Babo Rama here. I want to bring them up. Oh, that binky bottle nurse is handing out binky bottles. So shout out to Mona. Oh, and Christina, Lady J, Lady, yeah, Lady J, Jess Lovely, Jen, Katrina. Oh, you're doing a beautiful binky bottle job. And this is the only live stream that has binky bottle nurses. And I got the hottest babes anywhere. You know it. Because every day is a party when you have a goal for your money, for your health, and for you as a person. So wait, may I be a little bit interesting to be around? Oh, you betcha. In fact, it might chase you away. I don't want to chase you away. Mm, come closer and get some loving. Because you want to win. I'm showing you how to win. Because we're regular people. Normal, everyday working people. Now I know there's so, you, a lot of you want to be a celebrity. Maybe you are a celebrity. Cool, but that's a different world. For those of us that got to go to a job back and forth every day, man, you got obligations, all the stresses and the dramas. Oh, you know it. Leave a like if you're involved in real life. How about that? Leave, leave a like if you're involved in real life. Got you thinking about that one. Oh, I was, another thing I wanted to bring up. Am I better looking than your boyfriend? Am I better looking than your girlfriend? It's okay. It's okay. Just leave it alone. Has the, have I showed up in your feed for some crazy reason? It's okay. Oh, has the algorithm, does the algorithm keep suggesting me? And you finally clicked. Mm, here we are. I felt that click. Because you've driven by quite a few times, but you never went all the way. But today, today was the day. And we'll always remember our first time. So I've had a lot of you say, I don't know how I ran into you really. What you've been searching. It's okay, man. Be cool. Be cool about it. Because my vibe attracts my tribe. And there are those of you out there that want to win and you're this close, this close. Just need somebody to give you a push. Show you how. Show you how to do it. But not in some boring old stiff way. Because they, you've seen these videos and shout out to these creators. They're dressed perfect. The perfect, the trending color shirt. Am I right? Perfect lighting, real simple background, a potted house plant in the background of the video. I know they shined every leaf. That's cool, but you didn't connect. Or have you seen these new guys, these big dudes, like 44 inch chest? Oh, he's got a cigar and a cognac and he's telling you, listen, let me tell you how I lost millions of dollars. But you don't connect. Oh, but here we are, you and I, and you feel the connection. You're like, brother, you make sense. Give me some more. Some more coming up. You know it. So yeah, ChrissySalem.com, wish pond, man. Just, just hit it once. 
They're going to see that traffic and be like, oh, what's going on over here? I'm trying to light a little fire under their butts. Because I got three ebooks ready, man, for sale. I got new shirts. You guys don't, all people, you're going to love this stuff. Because it's cool that we're together like this. That's awesome. Leave a like. Maybe you subscribe already and you dig the shows, yeah. yeah. Have you seen my show? I take a heavy metal or hard rock song and I break down the message. And it helps you to win. So I got a new show coming up for a Kiss song. If you don't know who Kiss is, everybody knows who Kiss is. But a little known song except to real fans. A song called Danger. And I believe, shout out to Steel Viper who recommended it to me if I'm wrong, or maybe it was Mercury for Metal, maybe it was Lucy. Correct me if I'm wrong. A powerful message that's coming up soon. I wanted to tell you about that. So, any T Public, everybody knows T Public, man, the real Jesus shirts. So I got shirts too because you like what you see, you like what you hear. Can you imagine putting me on? Oh, I get goosebumps, I can feel it. Special code at T Public, my life. Rocks. Yeah, Christy Salem store in T Public. Real easy to go. It's in the profile. That's how easy it is. I mean, because you're out for a scroll and eventually you're gonna you're gonna make a right turn, I'm gonna make a left turn, I won't see you today. Don't forget about me. Because I'm on your side. The recent study we asked the question of Americans, how much encouragement do you get during the week? Oh, the numbers were dismal. There's nobody encouraging anybody. I mean, if you've got somebody like that in your life, ah, oh, give them a hug. In fact, grab your phone, let's go over to them and say, listen, me, you, and Christy can have a threesome and do a hug. All right? You just had a threesome with Christy. That's our secret. But most don't. You're on your own. But you got me. That's all I'm ever talking about is you, so I'm telling you what you're in for. If you're going to hit that follow button, if you're going to hit that subscribe button, all you're going to get is me talking about you. That's it. Because what I'm think, Because what I'm talking... Do it with me now. You remember this? Because what I'm talking about is what I'm thinking about. And what I'm thinking about is what I'm focusing on. And what I'm focusing on, I'm getting. So one more time for anybody jumping on what we talk about. All we think about and what we think about, mm, we focus on and what we focus on, we get. And here comes the question, what's your bank account doing right now? Giving you the finger or smiling at you? What is your waistline doing now? Giving you the finger or getting smaller? What's your love life doing? Met somebody new finally? Just happen to happen at the store? Or is it still the same? Hell oh, yeah, people, Chrissy Salem. What we talk about is what we're thinking about. And what we're thinking about is what we're focusing on. Oh, and finish it and what we focus on, we get. That's pretty deep. You know it. I'll leave a like if we're getting a little deep. Because there's a lot to you. There's a lot of layers to you. And you know, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get through them all in 30 minutes and it's not happening. I'm still peeling away layers. Oh, but every layer is... Mm -mm. Hell yeah, people. Christy Salem, thanks so much for being here. 